Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can boost uh, your FPS on CS2, how you can fix FPS drops, lagging, stuttering, and freezing. So this uh, this is coming up on, on this video. First of all, I will show you uh, Windows settings, and then we'll go on in game settings, and I will show you what you need to change there. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what you need to do here, uh, always go to settings, uh, go to Windows Update and check if there is a Windows Update on your uh, machine. And if there is, just install it, restart the computer, and then uh, go with another step. Another step is your GPU drivers. Uh, depending on what GPU you're using, I'm using NVIDIA, so there is an NVIDIA app. I can go instantly to drivers, and if there is a driver I, uh, that I need to install, I can download and install it here. So always make sure that your drivers uh, are up to date. Next thing, uh, before you play the game, always open up Task Manager and then end all the tasks that you don't need and that is CPU and GPU heavy. So for example, I don't need uh, Google Chrome or, or something like that while playing the game. So you just need to just click on the right click on the task and end task and end all the tasks that you don't need. Uh, another thing is startup apps. Disable all the startup apps. Uh, uh, that you don't use or simply that you don't need. I like to disable almost every uh, tasks here, task here, because when I boot up my computer, all the tasks also boots up and uh, it requires a lot of my computer resources. So I like to disable them uh, basically all and then enable when I want it, right? So it's super convenient. Uh, another thing that you need to do here if you talk with your friends on Discord, uh, you should go uh, first on Discord, uh, go to the gear icon here, then uh, go to advanced and then uh, disable hardware acceleration, right? So this is the first uh, set of tasks that you need to do here in order to get better results and performance on uh, CS2. Uh, second tasks, uh, is basically what you need to do here, you need to go to settings, then you need to go to gaming, game bar, and disable game bar, uh, press on gaming again, game mode, and enable game mode, right? Uh, next thing what you need to do here, uh, you need to go to a, a services, services, then you need to go to, and press on one of the tasks here, and press S, until you see this main, right click on it, uh, stop it, uh, right click again, go to properties, and start to type, make sure it's uh, disabled. Right, and another thing that you need to do here, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, you just need to right click on it, show more options, uh, NVIDIA control panel, and then you need to uh, tweak a few things here. So first of all, make sure that uh, under the change resolution tab, uh, max refresh rate is selected and your native uh, resolution, if you're not playing stretched, then uh, go to configure surround and PISX, and make sure processor is your uh, NVIDIA GPU or basically your NVIDIA GPU, then go to manage 3D settings, then go to a, a monitor technology, make sure it's G-Sync compatible or fixed refresh, and uh, then you need to go to uh, prefer refresh rate, make sure it's highest available, shader cache size, make sure it's not unlimited, uh, 100 gigabytes is cool, uh, and then uh, management mode, as you can see here, prefer maximum performance, then texture filtering and isotropic sample options on, uh, texture filtering quality, make sure it's on high performance, it's super important. And then a trilinear optimization and threaded optimization is on. Uh, V-Sync is off and pre-rendered frames is on uh, too. And then you can close this window. Next thing, uh, open up Steam, then uh, find CS2, right click on it, then go to properties, uh, installed files, browse. Right, and then on this new window here, you need to look for game, bin uh, win64 and then you should see cs2.exe uh, so you just need to right click on it go to show more options properties compatibility and make sure disable full screen optimizations is on uh, select it and then change high dpi uh, uh, settings uh, press override high dpi scaling behavior and select application uh, then press ok apply ok then once you're on this window here you need to copy the path of your cs2.exe file then you need to go back on graphic settings i'll go back but just go to graphic settings uh, and then first of all uh, expand advanced graphic settings here 
and then make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is on and try the game uh, and look if you're getting better results or not and then just disable uh, it and try again and look what is best for you for me is my uh, with my uh, better with gpu scheduling because my gpu is better than my cpu but for you it may be different right uh, and then the next step we here what we need to do here is to add a desktop app paste the path that you just copied add cs2.txe and then you need to look that uh, that particular file uh, in this list here so let's look there, there is cs2.txe you just need to press on it uh, on gpu preference make sure it's high performance and then optimization for windowed games is selected as well and then you can close this window then press on edit power plan just write on edit power power plan then go to power options select uh, ultimate performance and then uh, if you don't see ultimate performance select uh, high performance right and uh, next thing what you need to do here is to write view advanced system settings and on the view advanced system settings you need to go to uh, advanced tab um, under the performance you should see settings uh, select custom and leave uh, only uh, these uh, three check marks smooth edges show thumbnails and save taskbar uh, previews then go to advanced then select uh, virtual memory change select the disk where your game is installed in my case is on disk e select and make sure this uh, option is disabled select custom size and then you need to know your ram how much ram do you have on your computer if you know if you don't know you can go to system information and then on system information here you should see a installed physical uh, memory ram for me 16 gigabytes for you it may be different but nevertheless you need to open up calcul uh, calculator and calculate the things uh, don't worry it's super easy so you need to put your ram value times uh, your ram value time times 1024 times 1.5 right and the number that you get here you need to put the initial size and then you can uh, delete this then put your uh, ram value again uh, times 1024 uh, times 3 right and uh, the number that you got here you need to put the maximum size and then you can close this window here right and uh, also uh, go to system configuration uh, system configuration and then on system configuration you need to go to services uh, and then hide all microsoft services and and all the tasks that you don't use while you play the game here and disable uh, and just deselect the option and press ok right next thing what you need to do here is about your storage if you running low on storage uh, on your disk storage it can affect your game as well so what you need to do here is to go to storage settings and on storage settings go to temporary files and then here del delete temporary files don't worry it's just uh, basically cookies that you can easily delete uh, delete it except downloads and recycle bin uh, of course you can uh, delete everything from recycle bin but it's not cookies it's just your files so uh, you just need to remove files and that's it here and another section will be uh, about high ping and net network uh, errors and lags so if you're experiencing that you can stay on this section so if you're getting packet burst lag uh, uh, high ping uh, and more you can first of all what you need to do here is to open up your uh, browser and go to fast.com and test your internet speed if you get good internet speed you're good to go if you don't maybe limit some devices restart your router and always if there is a possibility use ethernet cable uh, next thing what you need to do here you need to open up a command prompt right click on it uh, run as admin and here you need to put few commands so first command is uh, ip config space forward slash flush dns next command is nesh winsock reset right and re reset your network uh, after that go to settings uh, on settings you need to go to network and internet uh, advanced network settings uh, network reset and reset your network if you're using wi-fi you need to put your password again if you're using internet cable you get to go you're good to go you don't need to do here nothing then press on network and internet again 
then go to advanced network settings uh, then select your uh, internet connection for me is ethernet cable and here you will see uh, disable button uh, the internet that you use uh, select more adapter options uh, double click on internet protocol version 4 and then uh, use the following dns uh, server addresses and on preferred dns server you need to write 8.8.8.8 and on al alternate dns server write 8.8.4.4 apply the changes and look if you have some changes and about the numbers here don't worry about it it's just a google's uh, dns server address uh, it won't affect your computer or something like that right and after here uh, also uh, the last thing that you can do here is to run the game on Windows settings, uh, just run the game. Now uh, I'm not running, but I will show you with a different task, uh, for example, app, for example, Steam. Uh, Steam. Go to processes. Go to Steam. Not, not Steam. CS2. Right click on it. Go to as you can see here. Uh, go to details, and then look for CS2 EXE file. Uh, set priority and make it to high. And now we can go to in-game settings. And if we go on in-game settings, uh, first of all, uh, let's go to video uh, here. Make sure uh, display mode is always full screen. I'm recording the video, so for me it's more convenient, but for you it, may, it should be different. It should be full screen. And then uh, your resolution is your native one if you're not playing stretched. And refresh rate is uh, basically the same as your monitors, right? And if we go to advanced uh, video here, uh, boost player contrasts it should be enabled vsync disabled nvidia g-sync should be enabled on nvidia settings that i showed you uh, previously then nvidia reflex low latency enable plus boost maximum fps in game uh, basically set up a, a fps counter here and look uh, how much F FPS you're getting con uh, constantly in game. So if you're getting, uh, if your monitor's refresh rate is 240 and you're getting always 240, 240, 240 in uh, every, if, if in, in single maps, every single map, uh, just select 40. But if you're getting, for example, 160, 160, 160 in uh, different maps, uh, then match uh, that refresh rate here. Uh, FPS F in menus, real do, do not matter. Uh, then multi-sampling analyzing mode none global shadow quality low dynamic shadow sun only model and texture detail low texture filtering bilinear uh, shader detail low particle detail low ambient exclusion uh, uh, medium uh, high dynamic range performance and fidelity effects super resolution is disabled with the highest quality and that's basically it so if i helped you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care